power, y'all say to the people, low power, to the people, low power, to the people. In our community, we have many uh, issues, health issues, as a result of things that are polluting our environment. We have hog farms, we have turkey farms, we have chicken farms, and we also have an, an international paper plant. All of these factories emit certain chemicals into the environment, and we're having many illnesses now as a result of side effects of these chemicals on our youth as well as our elderly. There's a big increase in deaths from cancer, diabetes, and other such respiratory diseases. And we need some way to alert the public. We need some way to let the public know what is happening, what is going on around them, and how it's affecting them. really important that we have this program because um, while mainstream um, even newspapers are, are kind of falling off and losing funding and cutting staff we have tons of people coming to us actually and wanting to be a part of our radio station and, um, and, and seeing it as a way to get information out to the community about what's going on with, with immigrants, with workers, with students, with um, the community in general and it's a way for people who aren't really connected right now to start connecting with each other. We are able to broadcast our own ideas, our own beliefs, our own our own spirit of the movement, what it means to us. We want a community radio station so in Baltimore City so our communities can be united and we can get the word out and raise people's consciousness about human rights values. The giant robot symbolizes automation and the lifelessness that's already in the corporate media. And once this giant microphone uh, is busted open, smaller microphones like in Fantasia, then all the people will actually be able to have those microphones and access the air. I just had a meeting yesterday with um, our subcommittee chairman, Mr. Boucher, to talk about this bill. and. Uh, I believe he is going to be inclined to schedule this bill soon for a hearing and a markup. Uh, and that's the first step. Once we get this out of committee and onto the floor, I think we'll, we'll just sail it through the House. And this whole argument about interference, uh, we all realize it's a red herring. It's, it's been pretty much uh, uh, disproved by the MITRE study. <clears throat> I, I don't think there are many valid arguments left for why we're not doing this. I think we have a, a, a great, great opportunity to get a bill through this committee this year, and uh, with your support, we'll get it done. Thanks. I'm from Galp, New Mexico, and um, I'm here because of, um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to help out the community of Gallup, since it's a border town between two states and also uh, kind of a border town between all the Native American um, reservations out there like Navajo, Hopi, Ute, and Zuni. It's just like um, kind of like a cultural cultural um, port where all these cultures and traditions intermix with each other. The White House. <laughs> After lobby trainings, a street theater march, and advocating for the passage of the Local Community Radio Act, community leaders met with members of the Federal Communications Commission, and then took the message to expand LPFM radio to the White House. In a meeting with the White House staff, we demanded that President Obama release a statement to show his support for expanding local community radio to cities and towns across the country. Join us in the fight to bring low power radio to the people. And I know I ain't the only one who thinks like me Even though they never try to show us on the TV The movement has deep roots, son, believe me The fire next time's coming to D.C. I say fire, you'll say next time We the fire, we the fire When I say fire, you'll say next time We the fire, we the fire